Senior night tonight in the Corral for high school boys basketball action. Allen East Mustangs hosting the Columbus Grove Bulldogs in Northwest Conference action tonight. Good evening, everyone, alongside Darren Gilbert. I'm Patrick Kamler. Looking forward to a terrific matchup tonight between the Mustangs and the Bulldogs. Bulldogs, their regular season finale tonight. They ended on the road against Allen East, who has, this is their second to last game of the regular season. Of course, both teams heading into the tournament next week, but we have some NWC basketball tonight. Looking forward to a terrific matchup tonight, Gilly. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an entertaining game. we got a nice crowd here tonight on senior night. You know, the band played a nice rendition of the National Anthem. The fellow on the PA addressed the seniors from Columbus Grove. Nice little touch. This, you know, more importantly, this game isn't about winning but it's about preparation for next week. Yep. The season's played in three parts. You play the first part until Christmas, and you go from Christmas until, you know, week 22 of the season, which is this weekend. And the third season starts this coming week on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, and it's all about playing your bas basketball at this particular time of the season. Absolutely. Trey Hensley, part of the starting lineup tonight. Of course, Hensley dealing with a uh, fractured vertebrae, so he's starting tonight due, be, due to senior night. Uh, not expected to uh, see a lot of playing time. At least that's what uh, we would imagine, but a nice uh, gesture of head Absolutely. coach Gabe Young to uh, let him start and uh, take the tip, and we'll see just how much of uh, actual game speed we get going here with uh, him on the court. Same thing with Coach Coli. Nice gesture on his part. Both coaches got together with the officials. There it is right there. Yep, so. Nice gesture for that senior. Unfortunately, you know, you, you talked about it in pregame or prior to the game starting. He uh, had an injury, and he's definitely still hobbling from it, so it doesn't look like he's going to be playing this game, obviously, and probably not in the tournament. So Hensley gets a nice hand coming off the court. And we are underway here from the Corral Allen East High School. Basketball controlled there for a moment by Landon Best. He's guarded by Carson Klum. Yeah, that's a really good matchup, partner. Those two going at it tonight. A little bit of a switch now as Best hands it back. Best to Kyle Hopkins. Zach Reynolds has it there for a moment into Hopkins. Hopkins, he'll step back. He'll take that Jones excavating three-pointer and knocks it down. Yeah, he can he can really shoot the basketball coming in just under eight and a half points per game. At act, actually, 8.4. Good start by the Bulldogs on the road. Young Trap gets it away. Here is Jones from downtown. That one no good. Good job by Hopkins clearing the glass there. Pernesser passes it off in trouble. They're able to save the possession. Gets it to Reynolds here in the corner on the near side. Okay, every handoff, it appears, Allen East is satisfied with switching or ball screens, either one. Now Hopkins, he'll take another three ball. That one just off the mark. Jones excavating three-pointer, no good. Yeah, huge difference between that first attempt and the second one. The first one, he got his feet set, planted the toes towards the basket, knocked it in. That second one, a little bit off balance. A little one, two, two, three quarter court by the Bulldogs. Nice to spread broken. it. Yeah, exactly right. Here's Brady Brooks, the Jones excavating three pointer. No good. Young had a chance at a rebound, instead, into the hands of Reynolds. And he brings it across the timeline and. Little miscommunication there on the far side. It'll be the turnover for Columbus Grove. I think it's a combination of that and the spacing wasn't the best right there. Just underway here, the Dales Concrete first quarter, three nothing Columbus Grove on top. Double team trap. Aggressive defense by Columbus Grove here early on. Well, I think the 1-2-2 two, two is the neutralized Allen East's ability to get it up and down the floor. Pass off, and Clum unable to corral that one in. That'll be a turnover for Allen East. Yeah, that's one of those. He took his eye off the basketball, tried to make a decision before he contained it. Unfortunately, a turnover. They're going to match it up with a little 1-2-2 two, two themselves. 
Plum gets the ball loose, but corralled once again, and Grove having to get across the timeline. They do into the hands of Barraza. Hopkins has it. Two and a half gone by in the first quarter. Bulldogs with an early 3-0 advantage. Swinging around, Burnesser takes it strong, floats that one up and in. Nice move there by the young man, leading the team in points per ball game at 12.3, getting off to a nice start along with six and a half rebounds per contest. Moving it around, here's Jones, he kicks it back out. Ethan Young, long, Jones excavating three-pointer is up and in. Yeah, that one was deep, and guess what? That's one of the premier shooters in the area if he gets his feet set. I watched him one game have a school record 10-3, so mm -hmm. Grove's got to make sure they keep an eye on him. Don't let him get started. Said so you and I called that game together here a couple months ago. Oh, my goodness. It was on fire, wasn't it? He absolutely was. And a turnover, that ball going back to the Mustangs. Yeah, Young, 39% and change from the three-point uh, line this year. 64 for 161. He's added to that total tonight so far. And as you said, one of the best in conference, certainly in the area, at shooting the three ball. Nice play there by Burnesser, getting his hand on it with the deflection, forcing the turnover. Burnesser taking it up and in and down. Yeah, once he started, you know, getting his game together, you know, he missed last year with an injury and really struggled this first half of the season, really turned it up. And as a, as a result, the Bulldogs are playing much better basketball. Some miscommunication there in the passing lanes and a Spallinger Millwright timeout. As head coach Gabe Young wants to talk this one over, we will take it as well. 7-3, Bulldogs on top early. You're watching high school boys basketball action. WOSN. Welcome back tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit us at hawkerdrywall.com to see how we can help you. Bulldogs with the basketball, four point lead early, halfway through this Dale's Concrete first quarter. Yeah, uncharacteristically, both basketball teams have turned the basketball over a few times. Reynolds, shot and put back, no good. Jones corrals it. And I think they is, got Hopkins. Yeah, I believe you're right. Hopkins going to be assessed that foul. Not a bad foul because I'll tell you what, if he doesn't foul right there, Mr. Jones has got a breakout layup. Good job pushing the basketball off of that miss yeah. by Deacon. Plum driving kick, Young, another long Jones excavating three-pointer, but that's no good. Burnisher thought about the long three he drives in. Nice extra pass and no basket, but Zach Reynolds will head to the line. Well, good dump off right there. I think they got Carson Clum across the arm. They did, that's his first. Appears to be Keegan Bain getting ready to come in for the Bulldogs. The first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is no good by Reynolds. Keegan Bain replaces Landon Best. Second Lee's free throw is no good. So nothing doing from the charity stripe on that occasion. And now here come the Mustangs. Clum kick out. Now here's Young. He'll drive and kick. Brady Brooks. Jones executing three-pointer, knocks it down. All three-pointers so far for the Mustangs. Well, that was really a good job by Ethan Young. The last time we seen him throw one from about 26 feet, that time he put it on the floor and created a mismatch and found Brooks. Now here's Hopkins with a Jones excavating three-pointer, no good. Young with the rebound. Good job by Ethan going up and securing it. Now Brooks with a long three and knocks that one down. Boy, he really starting to play with a lot, a lot of confidence. A little 2-1-2, two, two, three-quarter court now. Brooks getting the start the last couple of games with the injury to Hensley, and he has made it count. 7.3 points a game average. Burnisers, Jones excavating three-pointer, no good. Uh, I think they're going to get Jones with the push off. Good hustle. Indeed they will. Well, Brooks was a kid, if you remember, started the season playing some JV basketball, and 
he just carried himself, willed himself to get start getting minutes, and unfortunately with the injury to Hensley, that opened up the door for more minutes. He was getting yep. minutes, but it definitely secured more time for him, and he's made a huge difference with his ability to shoot the basketball. Grant Slusser checking in for the Mustangs. We'll relieve Logan Helzer. Here's Bain from downtown. That's Jones a great three kick out good. pass right there by Bo Burnesser. They threw it, run a little lob set there. He didn't like it and kicked it out, and they knocked the three in. Back to a one-point lead for Columbus Grove. Coming up on two minutes remaining in the Dales Concrete first quarter. Clum makes his move, kicks out. Jones shot partially blocked. Clum able to save it. Gets it to Brooks. Brooks cutting. Oh, great nice pass. pass. Backside to Grant Slusser. Again, put it on the deck, Mr. Brooks. Got to the lane, little dump off. Nice assist there, nice finish. Barraza, extra pass, working it around. Bain, giving it up, Barraza. Jones activating three-pointer in the corner, no good. Clum, securing the rebound. Mustangs up one, Brooks, quick three, no. Jones almost had it into the hands of Kylan Mays, who has checked in for Columbus Grove. Hopkins looking for Barraza inside, finds him. Barraza guarded tightly by Young. That one spins in and out. Great move in there by Barraza, showing a lot of patience. Just couldn't knock it down. Brooks with a Jones excavating three-pointer, no good. And that one will go back to Columbus Grove. Looks like we got a sub landed. Best going to come in. Best can come Kyle for Hopkins. Hopkins. Yep. yep, good call. Quick first quarter here, 53.9 seconds to go. So Best gets a short breather before he comes back into the contest. Moving around. Barraza, Bame, he'll put up another Jones excavating three-pointer and hits. Mr. Bame coming in, knocking in two from beyond the arc. Quick six points for the young man. Clum directing traffic, 26 seconds remaining. Takes it up and in. Good job driving and slashing, getting to the rim right there. Number three, Carson the Clum, the senior. Barraza, dish off, Burnisser in. Nice job attacking by Barraza and then dumping it off. Let's pick your poison on that shot, and is the one who puts it in. Here's Clum with a step back three, no good. Slapped away by Brooks. And that will bring the first quarter to a close. 15-13, Columbus Grove on top. We're back for more after this on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. And our free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. Ready for the Dales Concrete second quarter to get started. 15 to 13, Columbus Grove on top of Allen East. And both these teams pretty evenly matched, pretty even in record. So no surprise, there's only two points between them here after eight minutes. No, and you know what? It, it, it come down to some turnovers early, but both teams appear to be under their rhythm right now in their groove. Columbus Grove got great minutes out of Bain, and he's staying on the floor. Those two big threes, you know, put them in this two-point lead. But, uh, you know, like I said, they know one another very well. They played against one another over the years, and. Just heard Allen East JV team, very respectable, what, 16 and two, and mm -hmm. won the league, won the tournament. Future looks bright here for the Mustangs. Without a doubt, as we get the second quarter underway. Young working inside, floats that one up around the rim, can't finish, Maze with the rebound underneath. Heck of a move right there, nice body control, unfortunately just couldn't get it to go. And Bain puts up a Jones excavating three-pointer. That one's short. Ball loose, recovered by Columbus Grove. Now Hopkins has it. Nice pass inside. Mays gets it. 
Nice catch there by Mr. Mays and finishing right there at the rim off that nice little dump off pass. Comes with the basketball, Brooks. Thought about thought it. About, yeah, he? he thought about it. Young will take it. No. Hopkins rebounds. Might maybe just a you know a little too quick there on the release, but the right right intention and idea. I was just thinking that maybe just a little fast rushed. on the yeah, a little rushed on it. Nothing doing on that possession for Columbus Grove. Mustangs had the basketball back. A little over a minute gone by here in the Dale's Concrete second quarter. Clum to Young oh, great to Brooks, look. back to Unbelievable Slusser. Unbelievable look. Both ball clubs doing a great job getting down the box. Now, if you're a coach, it would definitely have to drive you nuts because the one thing you don't want the basketball to go is into the paint, but both teams are doing it on a regular basis here in this first half. Hopkins gives up the best. Best looking inside for Reynolds, who had space and takes it up and in. Nice uh, little dump off there by Landon Best. I'd really like to see the numbers if we were keeping them, just the amount of assist to every bucket. Both ball clubs doing a great job, you know, making sure that they distribute the basketball. Jones excavating three-pointer in. another assist. Yep. A little fast coming down the court. That'll be Allen East basketball. Yeah, Kylan tried to get ahead. Little rim run there, and they just threw it over his shoulder a little bit too, too far, and he couldn't run it down. Right idea, though, for the Bulldogs. Burnus are back in for Mays. Barraza also yep. checking in. See Deacon Jones out for Allen East. He'll be replaced by... Uh, Helzer came back in for him. Good job by Grove switching up. Klum gives it up. Said Helzer and Slusser in there for Allen East. Gives him a little additional size down low. Helzer 6'2", yeah. Slusser 6'3". Yeah, any ball screen, Allen East, or excuse me, Columbus Grove really intent on just switching it. Young will take that. Jones excavating three-pointer. It hits. But did you notice everything's in rhythm? His feet is set. Mm -hmm. He's under control. He can really rip it when he gets his feet set. When he starts going left and right and, and fading backwards, that's when, you know, he often misses it. Six points for Young. It's a two-point Allen East lead, 21-19. Three minutes gone by here in the Dale Concrete second quarter. Barraza, nice pull up, can't get it to go a little on the short side. Clum at the Mustang in the middle, barking out instructions. And we'll have a foul on Barraza. Yeah, right idea there, just got to reach from underneath, not over the top. Team's first, Barraza's first on a game that's been Pretty clean as mm -hmm. far as fouls go so far. Pull up by Young. No. Rounds with a rebound. He went up high for that one. He absolutely did. Here's Hopkins. He puts that one up. That one in and out. Back the other way come the Mustangs. Young brings it up. Passes it off, Slusser, hoop, and the harm. Great look, I think they got Barraza in the air and he made some contact. If that's the case, that's number two. Yeah, Trent. That's on Barraza, yes. Trent knew it as soon as he did it. He, know, you know, he knows better to make that. He just got caught airborne right there trying to make an athletic play. So Barraza will sit with two fouls. That puts Slusser up. Four of 12 from the charity stripe. That Lee's famous recipe free throw is up and good. Three point play the old fashioned way, and it's a five point Allen East lead. Allen East content going man to man. Picking up at the midline. 9 0 run by the Mustangs. Jones excavating three pointer up and no good. Plum back the other way, step back, 17 footer, no. Not a bad look.
Best has it, passes it off. Hopkins thought about in the corner. He drives, baseline, kicks it out. Burnison from downtown. Jones activating three-pointer is good. Great job dribble driving the baseline, kicking it out the backside. Stops the Mustangs 9-0 run. Allen East with a two-point lead. Coming up on three minutes remaining in this Dales Concrete second quarter. Brooks, no good. Hopkins gets the hot potato. Grove with a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Bernicert drives but gets stopped, passes it off. Mays has it, now he'll take a shot. That one no good. Back the other way come the Mustangs. Klum feeds Helzer underneath. Helzer, oh, great pass. open as Slusser, making the extra pass, nice vision. Four point lead for Allen East. Yes sir, nice pass there by Mr. Helzer, the 6'2 junior to his 6'3 teammate. Slusher for the little two-footer. Jones excavating three-pointer by Burnister is no good. Second chance opportunity. Here's Best, and that one goes in. Good effort there by Landon Best going after that rebound. Getting the offensive stick back for the Bulldogs. Under two minutes to play. Here's Jones taking it in. That left-hand shot a little too strong off the glass. Hopkins controlling, now getting underneath Burnisser. Triple teamed and double dribble called on Burnisser. Yeah, officials right on top of it. Good job doubling down right there by Allen East in the post. Clum and Brooks going to get a break. Bame coming in for Columbus Grove. Keegan Jones into the ball game. Yep. Along with Ethan Young. Got Deacon Jones playing the point guard spot. Keegan Jones, a 5'9 freshman. Said he's been seeing a little more time at the end of halves. Yeah, they've got him, and they've also got Hunter Williams, another freshman, 6'3. Yep. Nice back cut. Lusser once again, right guy, right spot. Good and job right there by Slusher. What do I mean by a good job is he did a good job. You know, as soon as his man turned his back to him, he went to the open area. Great looking pass inside there, gonna get two free throws. Slusser's giving solid minutes off the bench right now. Slusser only averaging about 1.7 points a contest. He has nine here in the first half. Hey, you see that box score tomorrow morning and be like, well, where'd this kid come from? <laughs> but you know what? If you're playing your best basketball right now, you're going to go into that tournament feeling pretty good about yourself. It just oh. gives another weapon to the Mustangs. 0 for 2, at least free throws. Grove with the basketball, 42 seconds. Burnisser attacking, nice oh, pass, pass. Mace, nice attack, couldn't get it to finish. Burnisser, second opportunity, goes in. And we are tied here with 26 seconds left in the first half. Yeah, that's gotta be a concern right now for Allen East is the second opportunities that Grove has got. I know of two they've converted on just within the last minute. 7-2 run for Columbus Grove. Helzer, triple team, loses the basketball, dives onto it to save it, and Gabe Young will call timeout, calling a Millwright timeout. We will take it as well. Eight seconds remaining in the first half. We're back after this on WOSN. Welcome back. Our quarter sponsor is Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete at Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. And our timeout sponsor is Spallinger Millwright Services. Proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. The team at SMS offers quality 
products from fabrication to installation. Located on Hanthorn Road and online at Spullinger.com. Can't say enough about our sponsors. No, you, you certainly know, can't. This is not possible without the generous donations of the businesses throughout the season. It's so much appreciated. Helzer off the inbounds. Could get it to go. Burnus with the rebound. Final seconds here. Grove with a chance to get a shot off. Hopkins puts it up at the buzzer. That one, a souvenir for a lucky fan. <laughs> Happy fan in the first row. <laughs> That's half here from the corral, and we are all tied up at 26. Look forward to a great second half. When we return, you're watching high school boys basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back. Halftime wrapping up the third quarter about to begin. Our quarter sponsor, Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. And our three-point sponsor tonight, R.D. Jones Excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years, visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes and go Mustangs. Just about ready for the second half to get going. Patrick Handler, Darren Gilbert here with you. All tied up at 26 is Northwest Conference battle between Allen East and Columbus Grove. And you look at how the first 16 minutes were, it's hard to see where anything was really a, a shock. They Both teams came out pretty much how we expected them to. They did. You know, they turned the basketball early. Both of them, you know, settled in and got used to playing the game tonight. Nice crowd here this evening on senior night. And... You know, Allen East made the little run there to get it to seven points and come back, you know, by Grove right there, you know, possession by possession and a couple big offensive rebounds that I felt, you know, may have changed the complexion of the game for Columbus Grove to take, not only got the offensive rebounds, but they got the stick backs. And I think that's part of it on why we're knotted up at 26 here starting the third quarter. Columbus Grove will control the basketball to get the Dales concrete third quarter started. Bo Burnisser, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs with 11 points. He averages 12, so he had a big first half. Uh, Brady Brooks, the leading scorer for Allen East. He has nine points. Nice cut right there. Allen East come out in a th flat 3-2 zone, and good job there by Grove recognizing it. Nice little what we call Jordan cut from the backside by Barraza into the paint area and flipped a little 10-footer in there. Great execution by Grove. Bulldogs back with the lead. Here's a Jones excavating three-pointer, which is off the mark by Klum. Hopkins gets it quickly back to Barraza. His Jones excavating three-pointer is up and good. Good job right there by Trent getting his feet set. Not only getting his feet set, but just playing under control, knowing where he was on the court, knocked in that three. Jones gives it up. Here's Brooks, kick out. Speeding things up. Young able to save that one from going out of bounds. And he thought about the three-pointer. Gives it up to Carson. Well, oh, look great for somebody. Cut. Yeah, indeed. Jones gets into trouble. Gets out of it. Dishes off to Helzer. Good job by Columbus Grove being fundamentally sound, getting their hands on the basketball while keeping it in front of them. Nice Clump. little slip. Indeed. Helzer up and in for two. Nice pass by the all-time leading assist man, Mr. Klum, with adding to his record right there with another solid assist. Stops Columbus Grove's run at 9-0. Three-point lead for the Bulldogs. Two minutes gone by. The Dales Concrete third quarter. Yeah, they got the mismatch inside. They just couldn't get the basketball. They had Reynolds matched up with Klum inside and didn't recognize it. So they still have it. Uh, Reynolds moved back outside for a moment, then he moved back inside, away from the basketball. Hopkins controlling the rock. Burnisher thought about the Jones excavating three-pointer in the corner. Instead, he takes it up and in. Nice take right there, recognizing it. Got his shoulder by the defender, took it right to the rack and knocked it in. Little finger roll right over the top. Five-point lead. It looks like Grove's going to go back and settle into a little like a 2-1-2 zone situation. Jones excavating three-pointer is up and good by Young. Yeah, if you're gonna play zone, you better know where number two is. Good 
give him Brent. nine. Baird Reynolds to shoot. He decides to pass it off. Good job digging down there by Klum with the steal. Here comes Brooks on the push. Numbers for a moment. Now here's Young. He puts it up, and it goes in. We're all tied up at 33. Give him 11 in the contest. Good job there with the steal and transition by the Mustangs. Hopkins has it in the corner. Gives it back to Barraza. Barraza takes it up, and that one no good. Plum with the rebound. Plum thought about the three, gets his man up, and that shot around the rim and, and out. That's a tough break right there because you could hear him yelling trail to Ethan Young. Hopkins, nice, nice move, move off the glass and in. Sure was. Nice little step through action right there by Hopkins. Little floater from about 12 feet, high and soft, kissed it off the glass. Here's Brooks, he takes it up strong. That one clangs off the back of the iron. Yeah, that's one if he had to do it over again, got to get it on the glass. Kick out, Jones excavating three-pointer by Perniser, and he knocks that one down. Playing with a lot of confidence, that young man right now for the Grove Bulldogs, especially from beyond the arc. Burnisher with 16 points tonight, and it's a five-point Columbus Grove lead. Jones puts it up and in, draws the foul. Yeah, I think they got Hopkins right there. Indeed they did. That's going to be his second. And that will put Deacon Jones at the line. 69% from the charity stripe this season for a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. Coming in just under 7.8 points per contest. First free throws up and in. Two and a half rebounds a contest. Second least free throw is good. You know, numbers really deceiving is Carson Klum. You know, he's not the tallest kid in the world. Seven and a half <laughs> rebounds a contest. That's all heart, you know. Yeah. It just, it's just going after it. Burnisher nice drives play in. Brooks, Brooks gets his hands in there and steals it away. Brooks gets a couple of guys up off his feet and finishes. Great patience right there. See that uh, one fan that's sitting in that portion of the stands is having quite the adventure. She caught a basketball earlier, caught a couple of Columbus Grove players. And she's still sitting there, so good for her. We just, I'm, we just stick it out. I'm watching Carson right there. He goes up and under, tries to swat the basketball. Got part of the, got part of the player and the officials right there. And he yep. looks at the official and said, "I didn't touch him." <laughs> well, you're not going to change that call from that official, Carson. Good try though. I think Found. they got Brooks right there. I believe you're right. That'll be his first. Yeah, I haven't seen a situation yet where a player is arguing against a foul and the referee goes, oh, you're right. Yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and change reverse it. that, yeah. And let's change it. I mean, he didn't mean anything bad by it. He just looked at the official right, side right, and didn't right. touch him. <laughs> First lease, free throws, no good. Second lease, famous recipe chicken free throw is no good. Brooks brings it up to 45 remaining in the Dales Concrete third quarter. One point lead for Columbus Grove. Allen East can take the lead on this possession. Oh, great cut. A little too little deep. too much overpassing yep. right there, huh? A little bit. I Columbus think, Grove gets the basketball back. You know, I think if Helzer had a second opportunity, he'd have put that one up because it was a great cut and a great Look there, nice move by Pernesser. Pernesser floats that one up and in, 40 to 37 Bulldogs. Here's Klum taking it up strong and has that one blocked by Zach Reynolds. Mays and Bain will check back in for the Bulldogs as Reynolds and Best have a seat. Slusser's coming in for Helzer yep. for the Mustangs. Ball stolen away and that yeah, was Bain with the steal, and I think they got Deacon Jones with the body right there. Yeah, Mr. Bain had a heck of a first half there for 
Columbus Grove, you know, you're going to say, well, it's only six points, but that was two huge threes he hit mm -hmm. in that first half to, you know, help the, the Bulldogs come back from that seven-point deficit. Nice seal there by Mays. Good job being strong with it. Much and better job it. finishing by the big fella inside. Mays gets it up and finishes four points tonight for Mays. Plum thought about the three. Young has it, gives it up. And he'll take a long Jones excavating three-pointer. Good box no good. out by Mays. Barraza brings it across the timeline. 90 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Five-point lead, chance for more. Make it seven. Wow, what a pull-up jump shot on a dime. Little 12-footer along the baseline by Barraza. What an athletic play by that young man. Six. Nice screen right there by Klum. Here is a Jones hitting three-pointer, no good, in and out. I think Slusser got his hands on the last one. Are they going to change it over? Okay, misdirection by the official. Yep. It is white. It's off, <laughs> it's off of Grove. I think they're checking and on somebody I right now. I think they're checking... Yeah, I think it was Keegan on a, Bain, I think it was on a screen that he may have took one in his upper torso, and I'm not so sure that they're not checking him for possible head injury. He's uh seems to be a little woozy right now. Yep, so they're gonna make the substitution as that will bring Zach Reynolds back in. Keegan Bain's gonna yeah, there's a trainer coming head down to bench. appears yep. to be to check on him. Yeah, I saw where it was, it was on a screen. He got tangled up. We hope that young man's okay. Clum with the basketball. Coming up on a minute. Pass it off. Jones has it. Back to Brooks. Brooks nice kicks play. it out. Nice corner. Jones excavating three. No good, but fouled. I think they got Reynolds. If that's the case on the shot, it's going to be three. Mr. Ron Black right on top of it right there. Did signal three free throws. Yep, so that'll be the second on Reynolds, and that will put Jones at the line for three, uh, three free throws. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws coming up. And the first one is up and in. Big opportunity to get this thing under five points, possibly at four, if he can knock all three of these in. Second Lee's free throw is good. Best will check in for the Bulldogs. Bernister will have a seat. Probably giving him a breather for the final 52.7 of this third quarter. Appears to be Gage Sauter coming in the ball game for Columbus Grove, the freshman. Mays with a rebound off the miss. Five point advantage for Columbus Grove, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Jones excavating three-pointer is up and good by Zach Reynolds. Big shot there by Reynolds right there, extending it to an eight-point lead. And that ball slapped out of bounds by Barraza. Yeah, one more step, he's got himself a breakaway lab going to the other end. And indeed he does. Eight-point lead for Columbus Grove. Clump with the basketball. Gets the sign from Gabe Young. Wants to go a little four high set against this zone. This is one they got to get it going side to side, not yep. hold on to it. Four seconds. Gives it to Young in the corner, gives it back to Clum. He's got to put it up at the buzzer and no good. One more quarter to go here from Allen East. It's a 47-39 lead for Columbus Grove. You're watching High School Boys Basketball Action on WOSN. Welcome back. Our timeout sponsor tonight, Spalinger Millwright Services. Proud to support the Allen East Mustangs. Yeah, the team at SMS offers quality products from fabrication to installation. Located on Hanthorne Road and online at Spallinger.com. And our free throw sponsor, Lee's from his recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, 
and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens. Heading to the fourth quarter in this one, it's an eight point Columbus Grove lead, 47 to 39. Patrick Hamler, Darren Gilbert here, high above center court and the corral. Allen East High School tonight. Columbus Grove able to assert themselves, had a couple of nice runs and able to Scored out to an eight-point lead here as we head to the fourth, Gilly. Yeah, they've got it at eight points. Now they're going to a little matchup zone. This is where they got to be careful and guard the perimeter. We know what Allen East can do shooting the basketball. It looks like they're trying to extend the top two top guards to match up. Nice play there by Mays getting his hand on it. There's Gage Sauter out on the break. And Sauter puts it up and in. Extending the lead to the largest tonight for Columbus Grove, 10 points. Young freshman's going to have a bright career for the black and red. And that one slapped away into the hands of Sauter once again. Two on one, able to save the possession. That one is blocked, but a foul forthcoming, and that will send him to the line. Yeah, I think they got Ethan Young right there on the foul. Indeed they did. That's the first on him tonight. Best of the line for a couple of Lee's free throws. First one is up and good. Young man coming in just under 10 points a game at nine and a half. Second Lee's free throw is up and good. A little under two assists per ball game. Carson Colum only with two points tonight. Far below his 14.8 point average. Yeah, they're doing a really good job finding him and keeping that basketball out of the paint. So miscommunication on that possession for Allen East. Yeah, this 2-1-2 uh, this, uh, or matchup zone to Columbus Grove is playing right now in the fourth quarter, sort of neutralizing Allen East. I think that's on Clum. That's his third, correct? Indeed it is. That will be on Clum. Number three on him. Alan East going to take a timeout here, partner. Spalling Bill Wright timeout. We will take it as well. 6.55 remaining in the contest. A 12-point lead for Grove. We'll be back here on WOSN. Welcome back to tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit us at hawkerdrywall.com to see how we can help you. And tonight's instant replay sponsor is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. And our three-point sponsor, R.D. Jones Excavating, serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes and go Mustangs. Largest lead of the night tonight for the Columbus Grove Bulldogs, 51 to 39. So far, getting it done on the road. Allen East needing a spark offensively here in the final 6.55. You know, it's what's interesting right here looking at the scoreboard. Grove is down to two timeouts, or excuse me, Allen East is down to two, but Columbus Grove has not used one yet. That's a nice luxury to have here with only 6.45 to go here in the fourth quarter. Without a doubt. Passing it off, here's Jones excavating three-pointer. That one off the mark. Mays there to clean it up. Third chance opportunity doesn't go. Grant Slusser with the foul. and that, With the rebound, rather. Sorry, Mays with the yeah, foul. Yeah, they had two point blank chances right there. Yep. Unfortunately, Mays got one and then turned around, and I think Burnesser got one on the backside. Tough break there, because they could have extended that lead to 13. It's the first foul on Mays. Young driving in, getting out, Helzer off balance. That shot just short, fighting for the rebound. Helzer gets it. Good rebound there by Helzer. Good ball movement. Jones dribbles in a little bit and puts that one up and in. That's a big possession right there for Allen East. Offensive rebound and a stick back. That's one that Grove, you know, has got to secure that rebound, only give him one opportunity. And if you're Allen East, you really don't need to live by three-pointers. You can... And a timeout, Spalling or Millwright timeout. We will take it as well, 5.53 remaining in the fourth. We'll be back 
right after this on WOSN. Five to three remaining in the Dale's Concrete fourth quarter. It's a 10 point Columbus Grove lead, 51 41. Columbus Grove with the basketball. Reynolds has that one poked away, able to get it back. And a little miscommunication there. I've seen that a couple times from both sides. There's some tough defense. And Allen East able to force a turnover. Yeah, that's where Coach Coli is left scratching his head. He just took a timeout to settle them down, and lo and behold, they came right back out again and yep. got caught in the trap, threw it out of bounds right in front of the bench. And those are the things that frustrates the head coach of Brady, any ball club. Brady Brooks back in, giving uh, Ethan Young a breather. But you got to give credit to Allen East also for picking up the defensive intensity. Clum distributing. Grant Slusser up and in. Boy, has he really turned it on here in the second half of the season. Nice move by that young man coming in right now. 11 points for Slusser yeah, tonight. that's why Some... I say, looking at the scoreboard, he's in double digits for the young man. Got to be a career high. Say, really nice down low presence for Slusser shown tonight. Working it around, here's Reynolds for Jones, excavating three-pointer, no good. Helzer with a rebound. Good box out there by Helzer. Eight points is the lead. Allen East trying to chip it away. Good ball movement there, Helzer off balance and fouled, so that will send him to the foul line. I think they got Mays there across the wrist, partner. That's the second on Mays. That Patels are at the line for uh, the first time tonight, I think, or maybe the second time. In any case, he's 64% from the charity stripe. First Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw up and good. Appears to be best back in for Mays. Mays will sit with two fouls. Not as big an issue in the fourth quarter as it is in the first two or second. Three throws by that young man. Trimming it to a two possession game. Yep. Knocks them both down. And just like that, it's a six point contest. A little Here's run and jump. Taking it up and in. Nice pass. Getting to Reynolds. Coming back door and putting that one up and in. Great body control there by Landon Best. Getting his feet underneath him. Making a little dump off. little finish there by Reynolds. Brooks gives it up. Klum has it midcourt, halfway through this fourth quarter. Klum takes it strong and off the glass of rim and in. Yeah, he got by Burnesser right there. Got to the rim, high and soft, kissed it off the glass. And Brooks slapping that one away. away. Huh? Yep. Yeah, you can see the momentum's trying to shift a little bit here for the home team, the Mustangs. Get a stop here, go down, convert a bucket. Young back on the court for Slusser. There's Barraza cutting inside and gets it to go. Good job by Barraza getting to the rim, high and soft, got the bounce. Eight-point lead once again. Nice spin move by Brooks. Sure was. Little. Just couldn't get her to finish, could he? Nope, not quite. Little off balance. Couldn't get it to fall. And now Best controlling the basketball for Columbus Grove. And spin move and loose. And now Clum has it. The other side will finish it off. Good little run and jump there by Brooks, forcing the turnover against Barraza. The press, and that will stay with Columbus Grove. A little full court man to man by the Mustangs. In addition to the points and rebounds for Carson Clum, here's a long pass to Barraza, complete. And gets the, draws the foul off of Deacon Jones. Good execution right there by Columbus Grove. 
Hitting the streaker right there. Barraza trying to get the three-point play, but Jones with a foul. Nothing malicious there. Great sportsmanship going over and helping the young man up. Same shades of football there with Barraza. The running back for the Columbus Grove football team. And, and are they saying no foul shots? Anyway, timeout on the course. Balling your millwright timeout. We'll take a timeout while see if there's anything to sort out. 2.56 remaining. It's a six-point Columbus Grove lead. We'll be back here on WOSN. Two fifty-six remaining in the Dale's Concrete Fourth Quarter. It's a six-point Columbus Grove lead. Thought there was going to be foul shots, but they said that foul happened on the floor, so it'll be Columbus Grove basketball laying at best, about to inbound under the basket. And does so to Barraza. Swinging it around, and of course, if you're Columbus Grove, you can afford to be as patient as you want to be on offense. Well, not only that, you're really good at the free throw line. You got some really good free throw shooters, so why not play the odds and spread the floor and step to the charity stripe and knock some free throws in? Good ball movement here by Columbus Grove. Not exactly keep away, but pretty close. Best with the basketball coming up on 220 remaining, and Jones will commit the foul. That will be his fourth. Hey, well, we got the chance, partner. Let's give a shout out to both coaches for getting us the numbers and everything for tonight. Yep. Coach Coli and Coach Young, thank you very much. And thank you to Allen East for hosting us tonight in this contest. Terrific environment here at Allen East High School. A pretty packed house, and we're going to have a foul again, and that's going to be on Jones, and that will be his fifth. So that will be all for Deacon Jones tonight. He fouls out with six points. That will bring Grant Slusser back into the game. Good effort by that young man. I'm sure he didn't want to commit that fifth foul right there, but put him in a situation where he, you know, they almost had to. These are some big free throws if you're Columbus Grove down the stretch. Hopkins for the first least free throw and puts it in. Most importantly, that makes it a three possession game. Second least free throw on the way, and good. Two big ones there by Hopkins. Little one, two, two, half court. Eight point lead for Columbus Grove. We come up on two minutes remaining here in the Dales Concrete fourth quarter. Oh, great Pressure pass. Pressure coming in, Helzer. Oof. Maybe little just hot. a little bit too hot. Helzer couldn't hang on to it. Hot potato, Carson Clum back with it. Coming back the other way, and can't get it to go. Brooks with a rebound, another opportunity. Puts that one up from long range. Can't get it to go. Clum, nice save, but into the hands of Barraza, and then he is fouled by Brooks. Yeah, can't fault the effort of the white and blue right there. Couple offensive rebounds, unfortunately, you know, missed a, a layup there, but I think a lot of that had to do with the defense and challenging the shot. Yeah, I think you're right. That's gonna put Barraza back at the line. Please free throw up and good. Columbus Grove hitting the foul shots when they needed to. You know, Mr. Barraza and Mr. Mays and Ethan Young and Carson Clum all plays for Team 419 during the spring. And they're not, you know, not only good athletes, along with Mr. Schultz over there, is unfortunately couldn't play, but they're really good kids and they play the game the right way. And Reynolds committing the foul. That'll be his third. Team's fourth. Team third, rather. Yeah, if you're the Mustangs, you got to go, and you got to go in a hurry. 
Nice little slip there. I think they, Helzer, yeah, they yep, yeah. they're going to get offensive foul on Helzer. Yep, that's one he led with the left uh, left forearm. He was trying to do the right thing and be aggressive and go to the basket. Just a much better job defensively by Grove right there. There was no acting there. It was definitely a charge. But you know, go back to what you said earlier about these kids play each other, play with each other during the summer, and they see each other. And uh, even if they're not on the same team, there's Brooks with a nice take, and then he is fouled. So he'll head to the line to shoot too. And you know, you go back 25 years ago, and that's not something that you saw a ton. You didn't see a lot of kids from other schools right. that were playing, know, playing AAU, play, was not play, a play thing AAU playing with each other. And, absolutely. And in fact, if if we had that, usually it was. You know, we, we, we didn't open like gyms. the person very much. No, it was just open gyms. You'd <laughs> yeah. meet somewhere and play. And <laughs> but you uh, you have these guys now, and they're friends and talking, and they know, oh, I know that guy from that school. And I mean, it's great to see. Boy, look at the balance but scoring for Island East. 11, 11, and 11. Grove chipping in with Burnesser with 18. Barraza had 11. Yeah, Barraza with 11. Seven for Hopkins. Nine point lead off a couple of Lee's free throws. Good job there by Columbus Grove, handling the pressure, maintaining their poise. So that'll be the second foul on Logan Helzer and we'll have some more foul shots. That'll be Zach Reynolds heading to the line. First Lee's three throw is up and good. Columbus Grove appearing to be on their way to a win here tonight. That second Lee's free throw is good. 13 and nine is how they'll finish the regular season. And a collision with Bluffton coming up on Tuesday. Gilly, I know you're gonna be there for that yeah, basketball be, be game. Yeah, big rematch, won't it? They just played a couple yeah. weeks ago, nice. Uh, Nice shot right there by Helzer. A little turnaround jump shot. Yeah, we saw them the score earlier, what, a couple, three weeks ago, and at Grove, and Grove got the uh, best of the Pirates, so that's going to be a rematch for them. We'll take this last ball in your middle right timeout. It's a nine-point lead for Columbus Grove as we wrap this one up here on WOSN. Welcome back, final minute and one second in this one, a nine point lead for Columbus Grove. We mentioned before break, Columbus Grove moving on to take on Bluffton, which should be a really uh, exciting matchup in the postseason for Allen East. They have uh, they have some regular season business yet they have to take care of. They'll fall to 11 and 10 after tonight. Opportunity to go 12 and 10 tomorrow night against Perry, and then they open up their playoff run against Riverdale. They'll host them right here in the Corral on Tuesday and uh, an opportunity for Allen East to, to notch a playoff win. Yeah, and Mr. Hobesack comes home. He's the head coach at Mount Blanchard Riverdale, and he gets to come back here and to his uh, alumni school and play against Coach Young and the Mustangs. But the winner this, of that game will get Spencerville. You've got the top four seeds in this particular district. Spencerville, two seed, OG the one seed, Coldwater four, Wayne Trace three. You know, I don't think this is necessarily a case where it's going to be the top four seeds that Boom. move on automatically, but I'll tell you what, you don't uh, that you don't look at this district and you think, brutal. man, <laughs> there's oh. not a ton of winnable games at that at that next level of the postseason. What is, what's that word, cupcakes? Good. There's no cupcakes. Yeah, there's no cupcakes. I've talked to... Uh, Talked to Tyson McLaughlin uh, a number of times over the years. I've talked to Kevin Sensabaugh a number of times over the years too, and they'll all tell you the same thing. There's just there's no easy road. Well, and who's the and team? That, who's the team that's been the most competitive against OG over the last three, four years? Coldwater. Yeah. You know, and that could be a district semi game. Nice block shot by Helzer. Blocked by Burner. So yeah, exactly right. Gets that one, and Helzer commits the foul. Good job by Burnesser, just going straight up right there, not swatting down at the ball. Like I said, his plays picked up, and I think the rest of the teammates have played better basketball. You know, unfortunately, he sustained that injury and missed last year. So, really, he's a year behind, but 
he's really picked it up here, especially in the second half. You know, looking at the district, and you mentioned Coldwater, and I had their game last week when they played Wapak, and Wapak absolutely took care of business on at home against Coldwater. They beat them 70 to 37, and you have to think, man, is that are there teams in this district that are going to regret that Coldwater lost? Well, that not big. only that, but they had the same. You know, I was down there with the St. John's game at Coldwater that night, and it could have very easily went either way. And you know, Mr. Allstate hit that three and just put the you know the dagger at the buzzer for St. John's. What another 40-point game? But mm -hmm. you know, Coldwater laid it on the the line that night, and Coach Fisher is going to have his squad ready, I guarantee, for tournament time next week as well all the coaches in this district. Yep. Without a doubt, second least free throw goes up and in. 14 point lead now for Columbus Grove. Final moments of this one, Brooks has the ball stripped away into the hands of Barraza. He will float that one up and in. And the icing on the cake of this particular one is a 16 point lead. Jones excavating three ball up by Young, no good. That one over the backboard, so that will stop play momentarily as Columbus Grove will get the inbound this one. Give Barraza 13 on the night. 19 points for Bernesser. And they will dribble it across the timeline as the final seconds tick off of this one as that will do it. Columbus Grove getting it done on the road tonight. They defeat Alan East 68 to 52. That is going to wrap up our coverage of high school boys basketball as well. Want to thank Nick Fraley and Abby Beck for helping us uh, bring all this action to you. Thank you for watching. Once again, our final here, 68 to 52. Wrapping things up here at the Corral at Allen East as we bring you our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. 68-52, Columbus Grove with the win, and it's Bo Burnesser with the Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. 19 points and doing a lot of hustle plays, uh, getting Columbus Grove the win tonight. Well, I just think he set the tone. You know, he set the tone at the defensive end. He set the tone shooting the basketball. He set the tone on the glass. and. Like I you know, made the statement towards the end of the game, you know, him coming back from that injury and, you know, uh, when you tear a knee up, it takes a long, long time to recover and get your game back. And, you know, with him playing much better that second half of the season, you could also see that the team plays improve too. And well-deserved honor for Mr. Burnesser as both these teams get ready to head into tournament play this coming week. Burnesser gets the nod for the Stolly Hustle Award winner this evening. That's going to wrap up our coverage of high school boys basketball action. Thank you so much for watching. One more time, the final 68-52 Columbus Grove on top of Allen East. For Darren Gilbert and our entire WOSN staff, I'm Patrick Gambler saying so long everyone from Allen East.